No, you can't overcharge your Toyota plug-in hybrid RAV4 or Prius, but regarding charging those vehicles, there are a few things that you should know. I'm gonna break down the three different ways that you can charge your Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid safely and efficiently. And yes, for the most part, this does also speak to the Prius plug-in family as well. Now, no, you can't overcharge your Toyota plug-in hybrid because the Toyota plug-in hybrid vehicles have a very sophisticated built-in battery management system that prevents overcharging from happening. Charging your Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid actually slows down as the charge hits and reaches the 100% charging capacity that the battery holds. Now, while you don't need to babysit your battery, you should follow the manufacturer's guidelines for charging and storage to maximize its lifespan. For example, doing something silly like putting your plug-in hybrid RAV4 to charge every single night as you sleep while the battery is at its full capacity can reduce the lifespan over time and it's not really recommended. So there's three different levels that you can use and three different setups that you can use to charge your plug-in hybrid RAV4 or Prius plug-in hybrid. One is the standard 120 volt AC outlet that most households or all households already have. It's a great pick for drivers that have a plug-in hybrid and generally have relatively short commutes within the city or to and from known places. Now, whether you're staying over at a friend's house or you're at your own place, you can pretty much charge anywhere that has a familiar three-prong household outlet. Now, charging with a level one setup, which this would be referenced as a level one charging setup could take longer to charge or does take longer to charge your plug-in hybrid Toyota. How long does it take? We'll get to that a little bit later on in this video, but let's move over to level two charging. Now this is referred to as AC outlet fast charging and it's used with a 240 volt setup. And pretty much it's the best and fastest setup for at home charging, which a lot of consumers, customers, and viewers that have plug-in Toyotas or probably any plug-in hybrid vehicle usually upgrade themselves to a level two charging setup. And level two fast charging isn't just possible at home. You'll also find level two fast charging stations at many public locations nationwide. Keep in mind, charging points like this do need to be installed by a licensed technician and could cost upwards of around $1,000 or more. Now for the most efficient charging system and setup, that's a level three, which is a 480 volt DC fast charging system. Currently, it's only available at like select locations nationwide. It might be a bit hard to find a charging system or setup like this for your vehicle, but it can definitely be the fastest way to get a full charge on your plug-in hybrid Toyota RAV4. Going back to the most common, which is the level two charging system and charging setup, let me know in the comments below, do you have a level two charging system at your home or place of work or business? If so, what is the cost of installing that kind of system? Am I accurate? I think I am in and around the thousand dollar range, give or take. Usually I've heard it being a little bit more around $1,200 plus taxes, but leave a comment down below and let me know. Installing a level two charging system at home is a very practical option for plug-in hybrid Toyota owners, but just keep in mind, you do need a licensed technician, like I said, and it does require a 240 volt outlet to be had, which is similar to the power outlet that's used by many household appliances like stoves and HVAC systems. Before buying a plug-in hybrid Toyota RAV4 or Prius Prime, and before sourcing out someone to do a level two fast charging system at your home, place of work or business, just keep in mind a few factors like the location of where you would put this system and set up, the connector type, the cord length from where you're parking to where the actual setup would have to be, and so many things that you're gonna wanna consider, the installation type, are you doing something that's permanent, are you doing something that's portable, a lot of things to keep in mind before making this kind of move. All right, everyone, let's move over to charging times. 
For something like the Prius plug-in hybrid, it can charge as fast as four hours on a level two, 240 volt fast charging system and up to about 11 hours on a regular standard 120 volt household outlet. The Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid can charge in as fast as two and a half hours, that's two hours and 30 minutes on a level two, 240 volt outlet fast charging system. Now you may be asking, do I need to set anything up that's special at my house, whether it's a setup for a level one or a setup for a level two or level three, which is really hard to do. Um, but no, you don't have to. You can actually just take what comes from the manufacturer from Toyota and own a plug-in hybrid Toyota. Let me explain. These Toyota plug-in hybrids come with a standard level one charging cable that can be plugged into any 120 volt household outlet. One more question you might find yourself asking is, well, how often should I charge or do I charge my Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid or Prius plug-in hybrid? Please let me know in the comments below what you're doing, but here's what I recommend. To get the most out of your battery electric Toyota, make charging a regular habit by setting charging schedules using the Toyota app, or you can even use the vehicle's charge management system, which allows you to get the most out of your range and to avoid any range anxiety. Now let's face it, the whole point of buying a Toyota plug-in hybrid vehicle, whether it's the RAV or the Prius, is to avoid range anxiety because in case you do run out of power or range on your electric system, you still have that four cylinder combustion engine to back you up. But we all know that you wanna get the most out of the reason why you bought this half electric vehicle, which is to not use any fuel or gas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and review. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.